everyone, welcome back to Alice on the Giant Bookshelf. Today's video is a review of Wake by Shelley Burr. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books. And this particular book that I'm reviewing today, Wake by Shelley Burr, was from my crime syndicate subscription that I receive every month from Mr B's Emporium of Reading Delights and this was a gift from my mum for Christmas and I've been receiving a book every month. This was the book for August and it came very well timed because it is an Australian book and it was perfect for fulfilling my Straya September um, TBR. Straya September, if you weren't aware of it, was a readathon that happened in September and it was hosted by Scott from Gunpowder Fiction and Plot and basically encouraged us to read Australian literature in September. So, I chose to read Wake, which won the CWA debut dagger. This was published in 2022. So today I'm going to be reviewing this book and letting you know whether I think you would also like it. So what was Wake about? Wake is a crime fiction thriller set in the outback of Australia and it focuses on two main characters. One is the sister of a missing girl who went missing 19 years ago, whose name was Evie McCreary, and her sister Mina has lived 19 years wondering what happened to her twin, dealing with all of the various fallout from that. Uh, the, our other main character that we're following is a character called Lane and Lane is a private investigator who has taken it upon himself to come and investigate this case again to try and reopen what is essentially a cold case where the missing girl was never found. And as this story unfolds we find out both more about Mina more about um, the past and more about Lane and whether he is what he says he is or not. I found this to be an interesting sort of character study of these two characters but it was also quite gripping. It sort of slowly meandered through the plot but there were definitely things that I thought were really strong in this debut novel. What did I like about Wake? Um, I really liked, there were sections in this where, or at the beginning of chapters, there were often sections with an online forum in it called the My Murder Forums. And often the chapter would open with snippets from what's been happening online on the My Murder Forums, very true crime-ish and, uh, sort of made this feel both real, grounded in today, and also gives you another perspective to this unfolding storyline, this cold case. I really did like the slow reveal of the secrets in this book. It was not the most subtle of books. You could tell that there were secrets that were going to be revealed, and you, at times you could have pretty good guesses at what they were but I liked the way things unraveled and revealed themselves a little bit at a time. As I've said, it was a gripping book and despite some of the slower pace near the beginning, it felt like it kind of gathered pace as more was found out. I think that this had just enough to keep me hooked while things were progressing slowly. The characters in this were pretty interesting. I thought that in Mina we had an interesting look at what it was like to be the twin who was left behind when the other twin was abducted or killed and to never know exactly what happened that night. Uh, yeah, it was interesting to see the sort of glimpses into her past, the glimpses into how she was living now, and she's a very interesting sort of reclusive character. I also thought that Lane was an interesting character to follow. Without giving anything away, it felt like neither Lane nor Mina could definitely be trusted in this, despite the fact that they were the two we were following. It left me questioning who would end up being right in this plot. 
what I really found very interesting and what was very appropriate to Straya September was I found the setting very interesting. This is primarily set on a farm in, I well I pictured it as the outback in Australia but wherever it was it was remote. You were really vividly given the picture that the nearest neighbour was miles away. It added to the sense that Mina was very alone in the world on her farm. So I did enjoy that setting and I thought that it was very well presented by an author who clearly like knew her stuff in that direction I would say but obviously I am saying that as someone who doesn't live in Australia and has never visited it painted a good picture for me really enjoyed that aspect of it I felt like I was in a new setting for a thriller that I hadn't visited before but it did have like the remote element that is always interesting in kind of mystery thrillerish settings. What didn't I like about Wake? Now I ended up giving Wake I think 3.5 stars, potentially a 4, but I still feel a little bit undecided about how this book finished up. And I'm not going to give any spoilers in this review today, but I thought that there was a possibility that the ending of this was a bit ambiguous and although I personally chose to read it as not especially ambiguous, put together with the title and what we're told the title means during the course of the book, I think other people might draw a different conclusion to the one that I drew. I think that this was a really interesting book but I didn't find the ending wholly satisfying. I would have liked a bit of a clearer end. It's possible that other readers might think that that was a clear ending, but for me, it just left me with some questions and that was fine, but it just didn't therefore quite reach the heady heights of being like a really brilliant thriller. And despite being gripping, this does build very slowly. So be aware of that going into it. It is however a really well structured and well done um, debut thriller novel. I can see why it was awarded the CWA debut dagger. It's certainly an interesting work of crime fiction. Who would I recommend this to? I'd recommend it to sort of cold case mystery fans, fans of books with morally grey characters and I also think that if you're a fan of an isolated setting in a thriller then this could be a good book for you to pick up. Do I have any further recommendations from Wake? For me, I think the missing family member storyline, I personally enjoyed more in the book The Woods by Harlan Coben, which I read last year, for a different take on living with a sibling going missing in a high profile way. The Woods is a good thriller to read next after you've read something like Wake. It's much less remote, it's much more fast paced, but if you like a fast paced thriller about the past and missing children, then I would go to that one. I really enjoyed reading this in Straya September and I would love you to let me know in the comments, have you read Wake? Have you read any other thrillers that you think I would enjoy based on how much I enjoyed this one? Do let me know all of that in the comments down below or leave me an emoji you think is relevant to this book. If you have enjoyed this video today, I would love it if you would give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will look forward to seeing you all again very soon for another video all about books here on Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now.